What's up guys? With this session, we'll understand one more control and that control name is progress bar. I hope you had seen many a times this control. Well, a very simple example of progress bar is whenever you install any application in your Windows operating system. This loading or you can say this progress bar is a kind of, you know, control. Um, let's say you have a registration form or any type of form. You fill up that form and when you hit submit button, all your data from that form is going to be inserted into database. That takes some time, right? And that uh, while that time, this loading button come into the picture and it gets, you know, it gives you a green bar. Um, it gives you time slots and whenever it, it gets completed or it makes 100 percent your data is going to be saved into the database and that you had seen many a times right and that's the same thing we're gonna do in this uh, video okay so what is going to be the UI it's very simple you have one form one here and I will take another form so I will right click on this project and then I'll say add and a new item and then I have window form 2 I'll add it so right now in the solution explorer you can see that there is one form 1 and there is form 2. Okay, I'll design this form 1. So uh, let me take one um, label. There are two label and two text boxes. So this is my text box 1 and this is my text box 2. Let me also take one button for uh, to submit this and then I'll take progress bar here. So let me take in between this. So this is your progress bar. Let me resize it to some extent and this is your button. So I'll change the text properties of these controls. So let me change the text property of this label one. I'll say this is going to be my first name. And this is going to be the last name. I hope you, you already know how to change the uh, text property of all controls. You just have to right click on this, or go to properties. Or either you can, you know, just directly uh, press F4 and you will enter into the property of this control. And then we have this button 1. So I'll say this is going to be the submit. Okay. So now this form 1 is going to be, it's completed right now. So what will happen? So when I hit this submit button, this first name and last name is going to be collected from this control. And it's going to be loaded inside this form 2. Until and unless this progress bar gets 100% done. And then and then only these data is going to be loaded inside the form 2. This is my, you know, requirement. So we throw the ball, we throw this first name and last name. There must be some, uh, some keeper who can catch this, you know, this tech first name and last name. So I need, a, I need a keeper. So I will say my keeper is label 1 and label 2. They will catch the data from form 1 and it's going to be displayed inside the form 2. Okay. So now we'll get in the code part. So I'll press F7 to enter, in, enter into the code part and let me resize the fonts. So this is 150 person. I hope you are, you can see the fonts clearly. So let me write some code here. So the code is going to be the, uh, going to be inside the submit uh, click event, right? So I'll double click on this submit button and there we go. We are on the button click event. Now we will write some code here. The code is going to be very simple. I will say public static string f name. I hope you already already seen this because in my previous video we had seen how to send one data from one form to another form. In that exact uh, in that exact video we had seen this this thing the same thing. Okay. So public static string. This is going to be going to be the last name and the null. Okay. Then the data is coming from text box 1 and text box 2. So I'll just assign it to my uh, this static string. So f name equals to text box 1 dot text and then l name equals to text box 2 dot text. Okay. So now what will happen? I will also open my form 2 here. So form 2 f2 equals to new form 2. And I'll say f2 dot show. Okay, so my form one uh, code is, is is actually partially um, completed. Now I'll move back to my form two, and I'll go into the code part of this form two. So inside this, 
what I'm gonna do so inside this form 2 I need to catch the data from form 1 so what I can do I can generate an event and that event name is load event so what I did is I double click on this form it will generate your form 2 load event and inside that I will simply say it's label 1 dot text equals to the data is coming from form 1 so let me write it form 1 and the variable name is f name and how I can get this f name even if I am on form 2 is basically with the help of you can see I had passed this static string and you already know how to call a class when the class is static you can directly call with the class name so that's why you have the class name and then the variable it easily passed right and that's why the reason okay in a very similar way I can pass the L name so label one dot oh that's let me call it as label two dot text equals to form one dot L name and now you see when I run this application and when I say here John Smith and when I click on this submit button it will show me the form one form two where the data has been printed inside the form two right that's the the simplest uh, you know the requirement that we had fulfilled but now I need this progress bar come into the picture when it's get loaded to 100% this data gets passed to the form 2 and the form 2 shown in the picture okay so how exactly I can do is with the help of something called as timer event okay I already have the progress bar here I need one another control and that control name is timer so I will uh, open the toolbox and I'll drag and drop timer control and you can find that timer control inside components okay and then you drag and drop here timer see this one and you double click to generate timer tick event I'll double click and you can see timer tick event is generated now inside this I will I will write some code code is going to be the simplest one okay so here I will say I will say progress bar one dot value oh progress bar one dot value equals to I will say progress bar one dot value plus 10 now what exactly is this is basically your progress bar value is going to be incremented every time 10 time okay 10 step 10 step 10 step it is going to be loaded so let me show you in one diagram here so let's say I have this progress bar so how it's going to be loaded 10 10 time 10 times here and then again 10 times here again 10 times here again 10 times here again 10 times here and then cumulatively it is going to be 100 percent at, at the end so when it uh, come to the last it's going to be 100 percent okay so 10 times 10 times 10 times it's going to be a plus every time so when it comes to 90 percent or around 90 percent the data from form 1 from form 1 going to be loaded inside the form 2 and form 2 pops up okay so this is the uh, th this is the logic behind so I will again pass it to convert to int 32 okay oh I had given the parenthesis a wrong term okay okay so this is the logic and then I will say if condition if condition is going to be the simplest one convert to int 32 and I will say progress bar 1 dot value and I will say if it comes to 90% then and then then and then only open the form 2 so I'll copy this form 2 which is there inside the button click I'll cut it and I'll paste it over here okay so when progress bar value is around 90% okay is around 90% then open the form 2 or show the form 2 okay that's the logic okay now I will modify some more things here so the first thing I need to do is I need to start my timer here see this timer I need to start so I will write here button click so timer is going to be started when you when you click on this button so this dot this dot timer one dot start this is uh, this is the exact location where your timer is going to be started and then I will say here please enable this uh, sorry timer dot 
timer one dot enabled equals to false here i'm going to stop it okay and the next line i'm going to uh, progress bar one dot visible is going to be is going to be false okay so now when you run this now when you run this here i'm writing john and then smith i have no attachment with this john smith but just <laughs> I'm taking an example okay so when i click this submit button you'll see it's going to be loaded and then you there you go form 2 is going to be popped up when your progress bar loaded to 90 percent or around 90 percent and then it shows the form 2 and then you can see progress bar dot visible equals to false it's going to be a progress you, you cannot see the progress bar okay that's the ultimate logic behind this three or four lines okay i hope you understand this new control and how to use this progress bar whenever you have a need where you uh, might be you want to uh, make an uh, a kind of in installation or maybe some kind of uh, data filling uh, to the server side or something like that okay then this progress bar or this control is going to be helpful thank you so much for listening to me